When you think of escalators, you probably think of malls or transit stations or maybe even gyms. You don't normally commute by escalator unless you work at Claire's. But planners in Medellin, Colombia decided to install escalators in one of the poorest and hilliest neighborhoods in the hopes of improving mobility options and reducing social inequality. But did the escalators give residents of Comuna 13 a lift? Dutch researcher Letty Reimerink wondered the same thing and conducted a study of the residents in Comuna 13 to figure out if the escalator lived up to the expectations of city planners. Her paper in the Bulletin of Latin American Research is the primary source for this video, and I've left a link to it below. So Medellin, Colombia is no stranger to trying novel transportation solutions to solve problems of poverty and mobility. The city is well known for building the very first urban gondola line to connect poor residents on the hillsides to the central city. Check out my video on that very topic to find out more. Gondolas make sense because you're taking people long distances and you can move a fair number of people. So what's the deal with escalators? Where did this idea come from? The escalators are actually a result of the same planning process that brought Medellin to gondolas. These planning processes were called the Integrated Urban Projects, a mix of physical interventions, social programs, and institutional changes. The gondolas were one of those physical interventions, and the escalator is another. The escalators were built in Comuna 13, home to about 140,000 people in the western part of the city. There are legally built dwellings in the valley for low and moderate income people, while the development on the hillsides was unplanned and constructed rapidly as the area grew in the 1970s and 1980s. The hillside location made it difficult for the city to serve those residents. The city largely abandoned the area and left residents to fend for themselves. Urban guerrilla groups filled the power vacuum. Clashes between urban guerrillas and paramilitary groups made Comuna 13 the most dangerous area in one of the most dangerous cities in the world. It wasn't until 2003 that the violence began to subside and some semblance of order was restored. The city decided it wanted to connect the dense, unplanned areas in the hills with the more formal city below. The plan was to create a transportation connection between the hillside and the San Javier metro station. The city built sports fields, libraries, schools, and flower beds along the main thoroughfares to the station to improve connectivity and signal to the residents that the city no longer abandoned the area. The escalator was one of these physical interventions. The escalator itself is 93 meters long, and it lifts passengers, or riders, or, or people, I guess, 38 meters up. It replaced 357 stairs residents had to take to get to their homes. The escalators opened in 2012 and was built for 5.5 million U.S. dollars. The city's vision was that the escalator would move 12,000 people per day and reconnect previously isolated areas. So did it work? Well, not exactly. The escalator carries about 1,500 people per day, and based on my own experience, a fair number of those are tourists. Residents were used to walking upstairs and didn't consider it a big deal. The planners thought that residents from far away would use the escalators to avoid climbing stairs, but it only attracts residents from about 200 meters away. The kids like it because it's fun, and people hang out on and around the escalator after Sunday church service, but it does not serve as a regular mode of transportation for most. It attracts some tourists, but no new businesses opened as a result. Nobody's income in the area really improved either. The escalators did bring one other benefit to residents, pride in their neighborhood. The escalators brought positive attention to an area previously known for violence. Friends and relatives of the nearby residents started visiting again. Architects and tourists came to check out the escalator. This new public space encouraged people to congregate out in the open again, something they couldn't do safely before. Medellin and Comuna 13 received positive press in international news outlets. This was all something unthinkable a decade ago. Local residents view this escalator as a gift from the city. So escalators will probably not be the next big thing in urban transportation, and will remain in the domain of shopping malls. But in Comuna 13, it provides other intangible benefits that may well be worth the expense. And hey, beats walking, I guess. Stay tuned for my next video on another Medellin transportation innovation, commuting by slide. Just kidding, but these were a lot of fun. And if you had fun watching this video, consider subscribing.